compound interest. In simple interest, you only earned interest on your initial investment. In compound interest, the interest you've previously earned is added to your initial investment before the next round of interest is calculated. In other words, interest is earned on interest. To calculate compound interest, we use the following formula. CT is equal to C0 times bracket 1 plus I to the exponent T, where CT is the final amount or the accumulated capital, C0 is the initial investment, I is the interest rate, T is the time or duration of the loan. Keep in mind that the duration, the time, has to be in the same units as the interest rate is stated in. So if your interest rate is annual, then your T is in years. If your interest rate is in six month intervals, that's half years, your time has to also be in half years. It can be in months, days, or any units, they just have to be the same. You may notice that this function is just like other exponential functions we've been looking at earlier on in this unit, but they're using different letters. Also, if a question asks about depreciation, you subtract I using the formula C t equals c0 times bracket 1 minus i to the exponent t. So the only thing that's really changing in these circumstances is here it's a plus sign and here it's a minus sign. Let's look at an example. Miguel invests $500 at an annual compound interest rate of 2.6%. How much is Miguel's investment worth after eight years? First of all, we look at and see we're looking for the final value. So we're looking for CT, that's the unknown. And now let's go ahead and pick out each of the pieces that we do know. It says the initial investment is $500, so C0 is equal to 500. There's an annual compound interest rate of 2.6%, so I is 2.6%, which we know is going to be 0 0.026. And the time we're given is 8 years. Quick check, we see we're dealing with years here, and this was an annual rate. So we've got everything in the same units. Now let's use our formula to find the final value. The initial value, $500 times 1 plus i, which is 0 0.026, to the exponent of 8. So that's 500 times 1.026 to the 8th and 1.026 to the eighth is 1.2279449. Therefore, we multiply that out and we end up with $613.97. So to answer the question of how much is Miguel's investment worth after eight years, the answer is Miguel will have $613.97. Let's try another example. You borrow $700 at a monthly compound interest rate of 1.5%. How much will you have to repay after two years? Again, we're looking for that final repayment value. So what is the final value of the loan worth? The initial value is $700. We're told that the interest rate is 1.5%. The key thing difference here is that it's monthly. So that's per month. And the term is two years. Now, key thing, of course, here, we've got months and years. We want to make get them into the same units. So since it's 1.5 months, it's easiest to convert the two into years. And so we've got 24 months is the term. And the 1.5% is equal to 0 0.015. Now let's go ahead and take the formula, put in the initial value of $700 times 1 plus i, which is 0 0.015 to exponent 24. 700 times 1.015 to the 24th, which is $700 times 1.4295. Zero two, which is equal to one thousand dollars and sixty five cents. So you'll have to repay one thousand dollars and sixty five cents. Try the practice question 
and then come back to continue the lesson. Just like in simple interest, we're not always asked to solve for the accumulated capital or the final value of an investment. We can solve for the other variables by plugging in what we know and using algebra to solve, or by using the following formulas where the algebra has already been done to rearrange things. Let's look at an example. After eight years, the accumulated capital of an investment at an annual compound interest rate of 2% will be $7,029.96. What was the amount of the initial investment? So we're being asked to find C0. We know that the initial, the final capital is equal to 7,029.96. The term is eight years and the interest rate is 2% per year. We have the choice of which method we use. In this circumstance, we'll use the equation that we've been given to simplify it. So the formula says to find the initial value, we take the final value, or the accumulated capital, divided by 1 plus i to the exponent t. So the initial investment was $6,000. Here's another example. $4,700 was invested and yields $8,699.37 after eight years. What was the annual compound interest rate? So we're looking for I. We're told that the initial value is 4,700. The final value is $8,699.37, and the term is eight years. We'll use the equation we've been given. I is equal to the T root of the final value, or the accumulated capital, divided by the initial value, and subtracting one. So that's the eighth root, in this case, of $8,699.37 divided by $4,700 minus 1 is equal to the eighth root of 1.850929 minus 1, which is equal to 1.08 minus 1, which is equal to 0 0.08, or 8%. So the annual compound interest rate is 8%. So far, everything we've been solving for has used fairly straightforward math. All the other variables we've been able to solve using just regular algebra. Now we need to introduce the logarithms, which we've learned about previously, in order to help us solve for t. Let's look at an example. An initial investment, C0, of $3,000, has an annual interest rate of 2%. How long will it take for the investment, t is unknown, to reach the final value of 33.12.24. Using the formula that we've been given, t is equal to the log of the final value divided by the initial value, the result of that divided by the log of 1 plus i. So the log of the final value, 3312.24, divided by the initial value of 3000, all of that divided by the log of 1 plus 0 0.02, which is the log of 1.10408, divided by the log of 1.02, which when you work it out, 0 0.0430 divided by 0 0.0086, which is equal to 5. So the investment will take 5 years. Try the next practice questions, and then turn them in through your assignments. Mm -hmm.